Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Martin. Yes, so looking at another collaboration beer from Mickler, San Diego. And this is probably the most expensive can of beer we've yep. ever spent money on. <laughs> really is. Not cheap, but I think it will be good. It's got uh, gotten some good praise. It's uh, Mickler, San Diego, and Horace Aged Ales Supreme Gesha Bourbon Barrel Age. So, anything that says Horace. It's gotten me hyped now yeah. after having Ghost Hawk's grasp. Uh, that beer was amazing. So, yeah, I want to try Horace when it's on the label. That's yeah. unfortunate now. I'm yeah. spending money on that Horace. No, no it's not it's unfortunate. It's... it's great because they make great beers. Yeah. Uh, if any of you guys watching, by any chance, have a spirit bottle of Harpy's grasp, let me know. I would love to try and do a trade, even though that's probably not going to happen. Destroy them. My beer. I, I do have some Lambic. Uh, but. This uh, is the Supreme Geisha, as I said, and this sounds just like a crazy beer. This is an Imperial Cream Ale. The American uh, kind of like ale lager hybrid that was made in the 1800s and it's made since as well, but failed in popularity, I guess. It's often made with, made with adjuncts like corn and rice. It's similar to pale lagers, pretty much. It's cold storage, but it's an ale. But this cream ale is an Imperial version on 13% aged in bourbon barrels with Geisha coffee, vanilla, and cinnamon. <laughs> What a hybrid! <laughs> Interesting yeah. style to brew like this. Uh, so this will be fun to try. I don't think I ever reviewed a cream ale on the channel. Mm -hmm. I can't remember that. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's gonna be weird. But yeah. So I'm experience. Pour is a very dark brown color. It could look like a brown brown ale or something. Yeah, it could. Actually. Uh, but yeah, darker brown color or copper. Not a lot of head. As you said, it's really pancakes, not. but it's like yeah. kind of beige. Let's check out the aroma. Ooh, big bourbon and vanilla yeah. character. Kind of it hot. smells kind of like American strong ale. It really does. Yeah. It's all. Is it just me or is it kind of like ricey, like like a rice pudding or something? Yeah, I get that vibe too. Promise. What no, uh, not that much coffee. Uh, no. it really, is the vanilla and the cinnamon that's. I don't dominating. know. I don't know how uh, a Gesha coffee tastes, but. Um, I'm not getting a lot of it. Could be coffee. underlying, but again, but the I, I think it's big nice. vanilla. Yeah, cinnamon is there, vanilla is there. A uh, big bourbon barrel character. Yeah. I've never smelled a like a, a cream ale like this. I've had cream ales before, but what I remember is just like super light beers. This to me is like American strong ale. But again, this is kind of not out of style. Step <laughs> in it. Yeah, it's a kind of a Frankenstein. Very interesting stuff. Actually, it smells quite nice. It really does. Mm, let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, big bourbon character. The coffee definitely is there on the flavor. Yeah. It's like green coffee bean yeah. with cinnamon and vanilla. It's super easy drinkable too. Yeah, that's scary for 13%. It's kind of like you took American Strong Dark Ale or something and spiced it up. Yep. Or American Strong Dark Ale, just American Strong Ale or something like that. But I guess the cream ale segment kind of shines with that drinkability. Big whiskey flavor too, big bourbon, yeah. sweet bourbon. Almost must have been some wet barrels. Cocktail like or something. <laughs> yeah. Almost like you did some kind of sweet bourbon cocktail. Yeah. Remember, did like, the cocktail I, vibes it pretty reminds nice. me of when I did White Russians actually with Bourbon County a few years ago because it was all over the place here back then. It reminds me of doing that yeah. just without the Kahlua and everything. And this, uh, the zero combination really. I big. think the sweetness is why it reminds me of that too because it has a big sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. Intense barrel character. It's, it's a little bit perplexing to me. I really like it, but it's to me it's kind of like almost like mixed, a, a mixed drink mixed with a kind of like a drinkable American strong ale or barley wine type thing. Big bourbon character. Cinnamon. I don't think it's as crazy as the vanilla. I mean, nope. A lot yeah. of vanilla. A lot of vanilla. A lot of barrel character. A lot of oak. Yes. And then there's this coffee, this green coffee bean, the Gesha coffee. Yeah. This is quite the unique beer. Goss Hawks was amazing. That was better than this in my mind, but you can't really compare Cream Ale to Imperial Stout, but we're just comparing Horace beers. And the previous beer I had from uh, Mickler San Diego, I enjoyed more as well. The Balls Bin Malton. That was yeah. Really good. So yeah, yeah, I mean, big coffee, as I said, big, there's the vanilla, there's a little bit of cinnamon, caramel kind of flavors. 
a lightness to it, almost like ricey rice pudding like or something. Yeah. I, mean, it's, it's, I can't get away from that either. Yeah. It really reminds me of rice pudding, but yeah, it's it's fun. It's it's outside of what I'd expect. Yeah, uh, me too, me too. But that being said, I'm not like com- like mind blown, but it's got some really nice flavors. It does. So, well, yeah, it's gold cool. uh, I'm I was thinking 93, 94. Yeah. I think it's really damn good. Yeah. Uh, it's close to me for like a four and a half on untap, but I think 425. Yeah. Uh, again. Price point is yeah a big factor as well. Really, really steep in Denmark. Yeah, I know it's been expensive in the US as well. But it's but really good though. Yeah, ninety three for me as well. That's very nice. So fun as beer, very different. If you guys had a chance to try the McLaren San Diego and Horace Aged Ales Bourbon Barrel Aged Supreme Gesha, let us know what you thought of it. Imperial Cream Ale in bourbon barrels with Gesha coffee, vanilla, and cinnamon. Not something you see every day, but that fudgy, ricey vanilla almond flavor is actually very nice. I think. Really nice. Yeah. But uh, if you guys had a chance to try it, let us know what we thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're gonna say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.